Shortly after the British general election on June 8, former Conservative Prime Minister John Major took to the airwaves. He wasn't there to praise his successor, Theresa May as leader of his party and his country. Instead, in his characteristically understated style, he laid out serious fears about the future of the United Kingdom. Northern Ireland was racked by a Protestant-Catholic sectarian conflict known as the Troubles from 1968 to 1998 that claimed more than 3,600 lives. A hard-won peace was secured under Tony Blair's government in 1998 and Major warned that Britain cannot not take it for granted. People shouldn't regard it as a given, Major told the BBC. It isn't certain, it is under stress. It is fragile. And although I don't expect it suddenly to call up said because there is a broad consensus that wishes it to continue I think we have to take care with it. The cause of Major's concern was a deal thin under negotiation, but signed and sealed this Monday between May's Conservatives and Northern Ireland's largest political group, the Democratic Unionist Party, DUP. The so-called Confidence and Supply Pact, which includes a promise of more than $1 billion, $1.2 billion, in spending for Northern Ireland, means May can be sure of her government surviving a no-confidence vote and passing a budget despite her failure to achieve a majority in the elections. She's safe in office, for now. Daily emails and alerts get the best of Newsweek delivered to your inbox, but the duck hails from.